welcome to Mr. Okamoto's GEE Homeschool Video Challenge. Today, we're looking at Eduardo and what Mr. Okamoto uses to educate the students. First off, we're gonna start with live primary sources from six feet away, interviewing those from different cultures and figuring out how they live and what they do. Today, I am here with my friend, Wan Yu from Korea. Wan Yu, how does it feel to be from North Korea? I thought I was from South Korea. <gasps> That's right, South Korea. And Wan Yu, what city are you from in South Korea? I was born in Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea. And all my life, um, for 16 years, I lived in Seoul, Korea. I never left the city, so I'm pretty much a city boy. One, one last question. So what is your opinion of Kim Jong-un? Nothing. We are living in an unprecedented time with the coronavirus pandemic, stuck at home, and our kids are in dire need of some social, emotional learning and stability with how they are feeling. So let's take a look how my class is dealing and expressing their emotions. That's right, plant therapy. Now, let's begin. So here we have Simon, Felipe, and Alejandro lined up and ready to begin. So Felipe, how are you feeling today? Well, Mr. Okamoto, I'm feeling kind of blue today. What do you mean, Felipe? You're green. Well, I haven't seen the sky in a long time, and that's what's blue. And the most important thing about social studies in making responsible students is teaching them their civic responsibilities and their constitutional rights. Oh, uh, excuse Excuse the little quarter tower, uh, you know, it gets me through the day. Instead of traditionally lecturing them and having them read an article, I teamed up with Mr. Justin and we demonstrated what this looks like. What you need to understand is the First Amendment does not give you the right to free speech, it doesn't give you the right to press, assembly, or religion. What it does is it prevents Congress from inhibiting- Okay, 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 hold up. Can you show us? No, uh, you can. <laughs> All right, let's go! Share your toilet paper and sanitizer. Yeah? I'm not doing it. Oh, uh, why I'm not? not? So this is what our First Amendment natural rights look like. Right, Justin? Well, again, so you have the right to free speech. You have okay. a petition to assembly. You have the right to petition the government. You have the right to assembly. But they do Share not come your from. Teepee God. And oh, Komodo! <laughs> See, I'm doing it. Just Mr. Justin's just explaining it. 45, 46. <sighs> and remember, we can't forget about PE and the continuity of schedule. So I adapted my regular routine of Hawaiian Fridays and implemented it with physical education. Take a look. Mahalo, it's your brother here, Mr. Okamoto, with your Hawaiian Friday special update. First off, we're gonna teach you how to give a little surf lesson. Let's begin. So first, I know we don't have any ocean here in Chicago, but let's just practice on the road. First off, lay the board down. Second off, get on the board. Third, paddle. Third, catch the wave. And pull the rail. That's your Wine Friday update. Get tuned. So that does it for Mr. Okamoto's GEE -E Homeschool Virtual Learning Challenge. And make sure all you teachers out there pick up a new hobby yourself. You never know what you can learn during this time. That's right. I couldn't do that before school was at home. 